one per person is a good snack in the afternoon. Wrap those up in parchment paper, put them in the main compartment of the cooker. You can see the cooker under here and I'll mix up a special sauce, quarter cup of ketchup, tablespoon of horseradish, a dash of lean parents and a dash of lemon juice. Mix that up, put that into a small Rubbermaid compartment and you have a snack fit for the king out on the hill. Absolutely delicious. Now because of these prawns, they've got the shells on them. Beavers can't really permeate the meat, so you need lots of garlic. I'll just crush that up, put that right on top of the shrimp, wrap the parchment paper up, and <clears throat> the people following will be just really hungry. They'll be wondering, where's Fernie Snow going? I'm gonna have some shrimp. Nice garlic shrimp. Okay, here's a little appetizer. Goes in the top tray. 21 to 25 shrimp per pound. These are raw shrimp with the tail on. Into the top tray, I put six shrimp, a couple cloves of crushed garlic, lemon zest, some chili peppers, and a dash or two of oregano. Wrap that up will be my appetizer prior to my nice barbecued steak dinner. There it is, ready with the lid. That's ready now to put on the bottom part of the cooker. And I'll just set that up real quick. In course, in the bottom part of the cooker. Take my appetizer, put my appetizer on the top. And there we go. What more could a guy ask? Barbecued steak, fresh vegetables, special sauces and spices introduced by nice lemon garlic shrimp. Absolutely awesome. Happy sledding and remember the thing is a great can and it's a great cooker. <laughs> Thank you.